What's up YouTube, my Cowboys family back again, bringing you guys the latest updates from the last two days of training camp. So let's start off with, of course, the biggest, hottest news, Jalen Smith. Well, Jalen Smith, you know, he's a big time player, he, you know, in college, and if he can just produce 60, 70, 80% of that, he's gonna help us tremendously. Um, he was practicing the first two days of training camp. Yesterday was the first day they had pads on. He came out there in pads. He looked pretty good. I mean, he wasn't superstar like yet, like his old days, but he, you know, for his first time out in almost two years. For his first time fantastic. playing in full pads? Absolutely. In two years. Two years since his college days. So, I mean, that's, you know, that's, that's a really good sign. They're still going to take it easy with him. What I'm hearing is that, uh, of course, today he was not in pads. He was out there, but he was not in pads. And he's gonna to take tomorrow off. I think they don't. He's. They, I think they're gonna come back on, on Saturday, and that's when they're gonna go. He'll probably be back on Saturday in full pads. So let's let's look for that. Um, I know some people were reporting that towards the end of practice he was walking with a little bit of a limp. That's true. Yeah, and, and in some of the plays he looked a little like gimpy, but I, I think that's just part of just the whole process. Back. I mean, it didn't look like it was anything major. So let's hope it stays that way. All right. So now, as far as under other injuries on the team, there were a couple of other ones. Um, we had Malik Collins. He had a hip flexor. It's minor, is what we were hearing. So it's just a minor thing. I don't know if he might have been at the, at the training camp today and, and been, you know, full out. So we'll we'll see about that. And then we have uh, Charles Tapper, who just had some basic calf cramps. That happens when it's, you're running around out there the whole day and it's hot. So what are you gonna do? Um, I'm sure he was fine. Didn't hear anything about that. Uh, but then we had the quarterback, which is, was competing for third or fourth, third between third and fourth quarterback, try to make the team. Probably was not going to make the team anyway. His name is Zach Geyser, Geyser, I don't know, something like that. He hurt his back, and that's what we had heard. And then later on last night, we heard that he's out for the season. So he's so. going to have to have surgery. He has some kind of a herniated disc. So, not, you know, we wish him a full recovery, but obviously. Not, not going to be with us. So, um, you know, we'll see what happens with that. So, and of course, uh, towards the end of training camp today, Ryan Switzer did go out with a hamstring injury, but we'll be talking about that just a little later. Yeah. In other Cowboys training camp news, uh, Jordan Lewis was out in training camp today. Uh, his first one back since his legal troubles were over. We are expecting to see him back in pads at some point this weekend, but it was just great to see him back there out on the field. Yep, and uh, you know, by Saturday, hopefully the NFL will allow him back. And he'll be out there, you know, going full blast with the with the defense, and we'll see what he's got. It's going to be interesting this training camp season. And now for a quick update from my daughter. Come on in. Yesterday, Taco Charlton lost all one-on-one -on -one battles, mostly against Lyell Collins. That's our right. That's our right tackle. All right, so in very good news, our offense is looking extra sharp out there on the field. Dak, particularly, his passing looks great. He looks much thinner, although he did joke around with some reporters that, don't be fooled, it is all muscle. Yeah, he got stronger. So, too. Uh, on top of that, Hitchens was out there making a lot of plays yesterday. He was all over the field. Looked great, so. Yeah. And speaking of our defense, going on with Hitchens there, Awuzie. Did fantastic yesterday. He had like the best play of the day yesterday on defense. But in today's training camp practice, uh, he had I think two or three interceptions. I think against the starters. I'm not sure. I know against one was against Dak. And uh, so he's definitely looking like he's ready to play day one. He's just he hasn't stopped really showing some great talent out there in the so, field. And several guys have mentioned him as just all around just standing out so far during the training. Camp. Yeah. Speaking of running back depth, Ronnie Hillman. You guys know him from the Denver Bronco days, um, but he was with the Vikings, I think, most recently, and uh, we just signed him today, this morning. He was very active. He came out there, went training camp, number 37, and uh, so look for him. I mean, he's he's kind of a, a camp body, meaning like he's there for to add depth and for people to like hit, take some reps away from from Zeke getting hit during the during the practices and scrimmages. But uh, he's someone that could actually possibly make the team just based on being like a Lance Dunbar type running back. Um, that's probably the biggest takeaway from him. Um, but he's out there giving it his all. Uh, we had a, an issue today with uh, one of our best rookie guys, Ryan Switzer. Unfortunately, Switzer was seen with a hamstring injury and he did not return to practice after he left the field. Uh, Coach Garrett came out and said that he does have a hamstring injury. 
did not indicate anything as far as to how severe it is. There's no news out of the Cowboys camp. So personally, I think it's going to be bad. Yeah, I mean, I, I also agree with you on that. I, I think that it's going to be bad, but any any hamstring injury is automatically bad. bad. It's already going to hamper your play probably throughout a lot of the season, if not the most of the season, if not all of the season. So it's it's not good at all, even if it's a minor hamstring pull or, or uh, you know, strain or something like that. If it's a tear or it needs surgery, uh, then we're talking about the whole season missed, which would be a big time blow and uh, Lucky Whitehead kind of smirking in the corner over there with the Jets right now, so. Either way, let's hope that we can see Ryan Switzer back out there in training camp if he's feeling better. So, well, as always, guys, let us know your thoughts down in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you guys next time. And as always, Go, go Cowboys! Cowboys!